Hello and welcome to another episode of Belgian Diecast Restorations. My name is Johan and in this video I have another classic Matchbox car on my workbench. We are looking at the number 55C Ford Galaxy Police car. This 173 scale model was produced between 1966 and 1971. It's a very simple model with no opening doors and the only feature is a driver in the interior. Just a car you loved pushing around as a kid. As you can see the previous owner of this car didn't like white police cars and painted it black. At one point the red beacon has been pushed inside, breaking the top of the window unit and resulting in a small, almost unnoticeable crack on top of the windscreen. I will notice this later on while polishing the window. At least the beacon is still wedged inside and not missing. The bottom plate is quite grimy with remains of mud and the car is sitting a little low on its axles, which is common. This model is held by two rivets in the base, one in the front and one in the rear. I carefully drill out the rivets until the base is ready to come off. Over the years the suspension has worn and is bent upwards. We'll fix this later on. The plastic suspension is fixed on the pack to the interior and can easily be pulled off. Now I can remove the interior, the window piece and the red beacon. Since I want to replace the axles on this model and thoroughly clean up the wheels, I remove the axles by grinding the mushroom head off. Now it's time to strip the paint. I put the metal body in a jar of boiling water and add 2 tablespoons of caustic soda. After about 10 to 15 minutes the paint has come off and I brush away the last remnants with a toothbrush in warm water. I use a wire brush to polish the model for painting and I also wire brush the base with the front grille and headlights. Before we start painting it's important to tap the screw threads. I drill pilot holes in the front and rear rivets using a 1.5mm drill and some masking tape to mark the depth of the screws on the drill. The posts are quite large and long. I tap a 2mm screw thread in the front and rear rivet posts. 
I will be using these longer 2mm screws with a collar, so I have to tap rather deep. That's a perfect fit. I use isopropyl alcohol to remove any grease or dirt from the casting. Now we can start painting. I prime the model with white Vallejo hobby paint. These are spray cans that combine primer and a matte paint, but they are also very suitable to use as a primer. These paints have a nice covering without losing any detailing. While the primer sets, it's time to address the paint on the plastic parts, especially the window unit and the red beacon. There's also a tiny speck of paint on the interior. I leave the parts for one hour in Dettol liquid disinfectant and the paint comes off without the plastic getting damaged. This black paint is rather stubborn, so I have to redo this a few times until all the paint is gone. I glued the broken piece on top of the window unit and as I start polishing it, that's when I notice a tiny crack on top of the windscreen. Luckily I do have a spare, but I don't throw the old window unit away. The rear part is still good and may come in handy to replace a rear window on another Ford Galaxy. The spare window unit is from modelcarparts.com in the Netherlands, I'll put a link in the description. I also polish a tiny beacon so it looks like new again. The plastic suspension is bent upwards after years of play. I carefully heat it up with a heat gun to soften the plastic slightly. Then I carefully bend it downwards again. With this hobby heat gun I managed to bend the suspension straight again. Later I went off camera to my soldering set that has a heat gun with adjustable temperature. This gives me more control over how much heat the part gets. I managed to bend the suspension slightly downwards again, now it should keep the wheels lowered. Once the primer is dried, the body is sprayed with two coats of Motip Gloss White Automotive Spray Paint. After the color coat has dried, the paint job is sealed with Motip Clear Gloss Automotive Varnish. Now it's time to put the car back together. First I assemble the bottom plate and axles. I use the nails of pop rivets for axles, as these are exactly the right thickness and already have a mushroom head on one side. I cut the nail to the right length. Then I form a mushroom head using a modified bolt in my percussion drill. With my thumb I press the axle against the bottom plate to avoid it bending under the pressure. After a few seconds the steel has formed into a small dome stopping the wheels from falling off. With the bottom plate assembled, it's just a matter of dropping the beacon in the hole, inserting the new window piece and interior with the suspension locked in place. The bottom plate is attached and fastened with the screws. Now for the final touch. Rather than spending a lot of money on third party decals that are often of poor quality or don't match the originals, I make my own decals. I scan the car or use a detailed picture of the original decal as a reference. 
Then I reproduce the graphics in a vector illustration program, taking care to use the right measurements and fonts. Vector illustration also allows you to work on a very small scale without the risk of pixelization. They are indistinguishable from the originals and the biggest advantage is that you can print as many as you want. So if you mess up, you just cut out another. I usually cut a sheet of A4 decal paper in two and collect the decals of cars that are high up on my restoration list. Then I print them on a color laser printer. Laser decals don't need to be fixated first. You can apply them right away. As you can see, these decals are very sharp and clear, even better than the Matchbox originals. If you are interested, I offer the files of the decals for this car on my Buy Me A Coffee page, link in the description. I think the mission has succeeded. That police car looks like the day it was bought at the store. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.